Uh, my name is Duncan Epping. I'm a chief technologist working out of the, uh, the storage and availability BU, the office of CTO. I'm here today with my friend Lee. I'm principal engineer for Europe for pre-sales team, also covering storage and availability. And Virtual SAN is all about transforming storage the same way as we did with compute. We do have many customers using vSAN in production. And vSAN, as we say there, isn't just a test and development storage platform. It's an extension of the vSphere platform. So the management cluster is probably the first use case that typically comes up with customers. This is typically one of the first reasons people start using uh, vSAN in the first place. Because a lot of larger environments, the challenge they typically have is when they manage these larger environments, is running on the exact same equipment that they are managing. But when you look at you know, these kind of deployments, there's obviously some interesting use cases that we've got customers doing. Uh, essentially ruggedized racks that they put on oil rigs. Server-side storage, hyper-converged solutions are very attractive to people that have to build those kind of setups. You know, anybody that has something with a periscope on it or you know, uh, a set of propellers that moves around. So when you have something like vSAN where you can reduce, you know, you're not now sending fabric switches out, you're not sending an extra external array or disk shelf out, you're just sending the rack mount servers very attractive, compact solution. Very easy to deploy, very easy to maintain, very easy to troubleshoot. So thank you very much for turning up on a Sunday lunchtime in such big numbers to hear about these use cases. I hope it was useful and if there are any questions please feel free to come to the front and we'll try and answer them.